Welcome to the Museum of Life. Welcome to It is located at the southern end of King County International Airport or Boeing Field in the city of Tukwila, immediately south of Seattle. Welcome to the Museum of Life! Seattle has been home for Boeing since 1916. So come with us and explore inside! Thank you! The museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can purchase tickets online or on site. The Great Gallery, an airy, opulent six-story glass enclosed space, features many aircrafts including the iconic Blackbird Skyplane. This one's the, block, uh, the Blackbird, made by Lockheed M21. It's like the X-Men's uh, uh, mm -hmm. aircraft. Yeah. <gasps> It's huge. 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 The Museum of Flight is the largest independent, non-profit air and space museum in the world. It was established in 1965 and is fully accredited by the American Alliance of Museums. The Museum of Light is a kid-friendly place. They have several play areas throughout the museum where kids can ride and explore a real airplane. Yeah, I'll check your height. Do you see you're 40? Yeah, you you're 42. Solo. I'm so you can ride solo already. Yeah, you can ride there. Let's go. We're going inside the flight simulator.
Even though the United States and Europe were at the forefront of airplane development, the first officially flown mail in a heavier than air machine may have occurred in the United Provinces of India on Feb 18, 1911 by French pilot Henry Piquet. This is the first powered airplane. Wright Flyer reproduction. Yeah, Wright Brothers. Yes. The plane that yes. was created by the Wright Brothers. Yes. 1903. 1903. 1903. Good job. Reoffered this moon rocket kit. Both a toy and an exciting game. First, blast off. It separates in midair and lands two spacemen on a moon map.
Welcome to the Seattle Center, located in the Lower Queen Anne neighborhood near downtown Seattle. This was the site of the Century 21 World's Fair in 1962. The centerpiece of the fair was the iconic Space Needle. And on May 10th, 1962, this photo was captured on the Space Needle's observation deck overlooking the Puget Sound. Pictured are attendees to a NASA conference on the peaceful uses of outer space, including astronaut John Glenn and then X-15 program member Neil Armstrong. The Opera House, where the NASA conference was held, and the U.S. Science Pavilion, where John Glenn performed the dedication of a NASA exhibit in what is now known as the Pacific Science Center. It all happened at the fair and what is now the Seattle Center. No, Seattle Center. Who's that? Who's that? That's the astronaut. Astronaut, yes. So, flight suit. Look at the Wow. Oh, it seems like you're in the moon. Oh, We see a real rocket booster for a three. This, one, this is a Apollo portable life support system. Robert Tremi was a NASA engineer best known for his work designing the unique tires for the lunar F1 engine. No, that's F1 that's steering wheel. Yeah, it's close. The museum is a wheelchair accessible and for new parents with strollers, there are a lot of elevators throughout the museum. Second floor. Second floor. Second floor. Yeah. World War One planes. The World War One or the Great War Gallery is located on the second floor of the personal carriage wing. It features established airplanes as an important part of modern warfare. For the first time in history, combatants took to the skies over the battlefields. Your mama, parang part na yung hindi. From 1914 to 1918, airplanes evolved from frail wood and fabric machines to more advanced all-metal, aerodynamically efficient fighters, bombers, aircrafts. This is a Curtis OX-5 engine.
Okay. Just over there. Hi. The World War II Gallery is located on the first floor of the Personal Courage Wing. It shows the consequence of World War II. It features 10 fighter aircraft representing all the major combatants serve as guideposts. So it's a plane from Normandy. Charles Simony Space Gallery is located adjacent to the Museum of Flight. You need to cross the bridge. Let's go 
over. The exhibit also features space suits, space vehicles, and space flights artifacts from 1980s to the present. It also features the full fuselage trainer, a 100-foot-long, four-story high NASA space shuttle that serve as a training facilities for astronauts. Modern planes. Hi there. Hi, Mr. Pilot. Hi, Mr. Pilot. So we got here a real life Concord British Airways. Aviation Pavilion is a covered outside gallery with 19 rare and unique commercial and military airplanes where you can see a real Concord airplane for British Airways and an old Air Force One plane. You need at least 3 to 4 hours to do the entire museum. There's so much to see. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes and take a break once in a while. When you go with kids, make sure to bring snacks and water, but there are areas that water and food is not allowed. But you can stop by the cafe inside the museum. First one. Okay, so that's one thing. Lyndon B. Johnson. Do you know where Seattle? Yeah. Where is it? Where's Seattle? 
in this part. In this area. This one is Washington DC, not Washington. This one the other Washington. Yeah. Not our Washington. This is a 787 Dreamliner, the third one built from Everett, Washington. This is the 747 Boeing, also built in Everett, Washington. Let's go and explore the inside. It's hollowed out. Here comes the Queen 747.
Rosie the Riveter It represents millions of women who answered the call of their country to became the iconic image of women in the workforce during the war years Behind the Aviation Pavilion, you can find the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Park. You can buy souvenir from the souvenir shop. This one. This one. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Good. What's that one? Seven. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Thank you. See ya. Yeah.